Do you know about all of the benefits of telecommuting for work? It offers more flexibility and freedom for workers, and it lowers costs and provides a bigger talent pool for employers. However, one of the biggest downsides to telecommuting is the lack of socialization and collaboration that naturally comes in an office setting. In order to counteract this, team leaders must be more proactive about team building. This will help to promote company culture and forge strong working relationships among employees. Today, we'll be discussing five different team building activities specifically for telecommuters. I'm Noel with Jotform. Let's go. First, it's a good idea to incorporate icebreaker meetings. Before going out of your way to plan specific team building activities, you should take advantage of the meetings you already have to encourage casual socializing. When working in the office, there can be a lot of idle time to get to know people. But when working remotely, there's no extra time in the day or on video calls to chat with coworkers. While a video conference call may not be the best place for mingling, it's helpful to consciously guide your team to have conversations with one another. One way to do this is by building non-productive time into your meetings and starting your meetings off with an icebreaker. Icebreakers are a great way for you to get to know your team better. Even if you already know your team pretty well, it gives you something non-work related to talk about. And the best part is, they don't have to be complicated. You can ask something simple like, how's the weather? Or, what did you do this weekend? But this is your opportunity to get creative and learn about your coworkers on a more personal level. You could ask something like, what was your first job? Or, where was your favorite vacation spot? As long as you keep your icebreakers lighthearted and appropriate for a work environment, the possibilities are endless. Next, you can try show and tell. While you may not have participated in show and tell since kindergarten, this is a great opportunity for you to use the visual element of telecommuting to your advantage. You can have your team members share their lives with pictures and video. This can even become an ongoing ritual where people send photos of their desk, pets, or even morning coffee. You can even have your team share photos from a vacation or a cherished memory in their life, which will spark a conversation about it. You can even put together a guessing game. For example, you can collect baby pictures from each team member, share them, and have team members guess who's who. Next, put together a remote party. Even though your team isn't physically in the office, that doesn't mean you can't throw an office party virtually. Throwing a virtual event is a great way to bring your team together, and the setup does not need to be complicated. You could plan a virtual lunch for your team, schedule a time to have all of your workers eat lunch together over video chat, make sure that there's no agenda, and reimburse your telecommuters for their meal. Another option is a movie night. Send out a survey to your team members asking them what movie they would want to watch. Then, everyone can watch it together using a video conferencing tool and provide commentary in the chat. Another option is a remote pizza party. The company Pizza Time was founded specifically to show that remote teams can have just as much fun as co-located teams. With this service, all you have to do is pick a time and provide the addresses of your team members. Then they'll coordinate all of the deliveries. Finally, you could throw a remote holiday party. You can even still incorporate a secret Santa gift swap. All you have to do is have your team members send their gifts to their assigned person's address before the party. That way, everyone can open their gifts at the same time on camera. Another great bonding activity is to simply play games together as a team. They are a great way to bring people together, and they also promote cooperation and low-level competition. You can have a virtual game session with visual games such as Pictionary or Charades. You could even find a web-based or mobile game that telecommuters can play from home and schedule sessions on a regular basis. If you're looking for team games for the long term, there are several services designed for remote team gaming that can be helpful. House Party is a face-to-face -face social network where users can create virtual rooms with chat, video, and games. You can also use Jackbox Games, which is a popular provider of easy-to-play online games. You can make the investment in high-quality games for your whole team to enjoy as a group. Lastly, even though everyone is working remotely, you can still plan an in-person event. If your team is working in the same region, then schedule a time to bring your telecommuters to your office or a local venue 
for an in-person event. If your team is entirely remote, you can plan an annual team retreat. You can utilize some of the money that you save on an office and reinvest it into bringing your team together. You can fly your team out to a specific location, rent an Airbnb, plan some team activities, and make valuable memories together. Let's review. Team building activities for telecommuters do not need to be complicated. You can incorporate icebreakers into your meetings and plan a time for show and tell with your team. Take the time to throw a remote office party or play virtual games together as a team. And if everyone is working in the same region, you can even plan an in-person event. Remember that no matter what you do, make sure that it brings your team together in a meaningful way. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Noel with JotForm. See you next time. <laughs>